Hi, this is Matt at Reed's Custom Food Plots. I want to welcome you today to our shop and our demonstration food plot areas here in Mosinee, Wisconsin. One of the advantages we have of having a large demonstration area like this is we get to test and try out a lot of different things. And one thing that we've tested out uh, over many, many years here is planting corn without a corn planter. We get that question a lot from the do-it-yourselfer that says, I'd really like to have corn, I don't have a corn planter, can I really do it? And the answer is unequivocally yes. You can do it and you can do it very successfully. So we're gonna touch on that in this video, walk you through the process that we use to get corn in the ground and, uh, and just show it to you uh, each step of the way. So what I have here um, is all the tools that we're gonna need. And really, the first things that you're gonna need is a way to broadcast seed. You can use a broadcast hand spreader, you can use an ATV spreader like the one that we have here. Just something that's gonna evenly spread seed for you as you're getting this process going. The other thing you're going to need is a disc and so we've got a disc on the tractor behind us and with those two pieces of equipment you can definitely get corn in the ground. Once you've got those pieces of equipment ready to go you're going to need just a few simple materials. You're going to need a little bit of fertilizer for a quarter acre that's about what we've got disced out here behind us as a quarter acre food plot that we're going to be putting in. On that quarter acre we're going to put down roughly about 50 pounds of triple 19 fertilizer. You can cut that back to maybe three quarters of a bag, but it's just easiest if you want to throw one bag in there. It'll work out great. You're going to use one bag of 4400 extended release nitrogen. This product that we're using is called ESN. Um, some companies sell it under a brand named of Super U. Um, there's a number of other ones out there, I'm sure. But we use extended release because once that extended release is in the ground, there's a coating on that nitrogen that's gonna slowly break down over time and release that nitrogen into the soil and continue to feed that plant. If you can't get your hands on extended release nitrogen, you'll probably have to come back with a, a straight nitrogen or a urea product in four to six weeks and top dress your, your corn again. But if you can get ESN, it's gonna be a one and done. Fertilize it at planting, you won't have to touch it again. The third thing you're gonna need is some corn seed. Now, corn seed is one of those seeds where, where more is definitely not better. Corn seed doesn't get planted at high volumes of seed to the ground. So it's really important to know how much corn seed to put down. So in a quarter acre of ground, we're gonna use a measuring cup like this. This is one quart, and you're gonna need about two and a half quarts of corn seed per quarter acre of ground that you're trying to plant. If you try to just put a quarter acre of seed into your hopper and spread it, you're not gonna get it very evenly, and the likelihood is you're gonna have way too much seed. So what we've tested over many, many years is spreading that seed with our fertilizer. So we'll take a 50 pound bag of 4400 nitrogen, which covers a quarter acre. We'll put two and a half quarts of corn seed in it, and we'll go ahead and spread it. And it spreads really evenly, really nicely over that quarter acre. Once that seed is on the ground, we're gonna come back with our triple 19 and we'll spread that. And then to sweeten this food plot up a little bit, we're actually gonna add some beans to it. And we're gonna put down probably about a half rate of beans um, in here, so maybe a half to three quarters of a bag of seed will go down. We'll come back, we'll grab the disc, we'll disc all of that in, we'll show you how to set your disc to do that. And once that's done, you can walk away and hope for rain, and by the fall you should have a corn and soybean plot that the drill will be coming to daily. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do to get this broadcast corn in the ground is we're gonna mix our corn seed with our fertilizer in the broadcast spreader. Pretty straightforward process. We've got one bag here of 4400 extended release nitrogen. Now remember we talked about we're going to put two and a half quarts of corn seed into one bag of this. So I've got a one quart scoop. So I want to divide this bag roughly into thirds. So I'm going to take and just cut my bag open a little bit. We're going to run some of my, uh, my fertilizer in here. Oh, about like that. It's about a third of that seed. We'll set that down. We'll uh, come in here. I've got uh, my corn seed already scooped out, so I've got a quart here. We'll take this and we'll just pour that in and we'll mix it up. Anytime that you're playing around with fertilizer or chemical, I encourage you to get yourself a pair of latex gloves, something like that. You just don't want this stuff all over your hands. It makes dealing with it a little bit easier. Once you've got that, uh, that put together, you take your fertilizer bag. We can pour roughly another third or so of it in here. Kind of spread that out. Something like that. We'll grab our scoop. And another quart of corn. We'll pour that into both sides. Like that. We'll take that one and mix it up. Should have a pretty good mix going in there by now. All right, and the last thing we'll do is we'll get the last bit of this fertilizer put into our hopper. So this makes a full 50 pounds of ESN fertilizer, put that bag aside. We'll grab one 
last half, half quart of corn, pour that in. And we've got a full mix now for a quarter acre of corn that we're gonna be able to broadcast. This is gonna come up great by the end of the summer. So we've got our seed good and mixed with our fertilizer. Next thing we gotta do is get it spread. So we're gonna hop on the four-wheeler here and get that job done. Most four-wheeler spreaders uh, look something similar to this one, and I'm gonna guess that most of these, once you have the gate fully open, you're gonna to wanna to spread at about six to eight miles an hour to get one hopper of seed and fertilizer over about a quarter acre. For most, it, right when they come out of the box, six to eight miles an hour um, and a wide open setting should be just about right. Now, as you go and spread, you're gonna to wanna to start on your perimeter and get your whole perimeter spread. And when you come back for your second pass, you're gonna to wanna to watch your spread pattern and you're gonna want the outside of your spread pattern to just be touching your last set of tire tracks from your first pass. And as you go around and do that, you'll have a complete coverage of your quarter acre and you'll have a beautiful plot. All right, just before we run the disc through this and cover all this seed, I just wanna show you on the ground kind of what this looks like because what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see our corn seed is here, our beans are here. You'll see a lot of fertilizer on the ground. And when it comes to looking at that corn seed especially, it's gonna look thin and you're gonna say, man, did I put enough down? Trust the math on this one. It is enough seed, it's gonna look thin when you put the seed down. It might even look thin as it starts to come up. Once that corn is about waist high, a lot of times we say, boy, you can't even tell that that was broadcast corn. It almost looks like row planted corn. So just give it the time it needs to get going and get started. You're gonna be happy with the results. So the last thing we have to do is get the disc in the ground and get this seed planted. So we're gonna hop in the big blue tractor here with our pull behind disc, run it through this area um, and get that seed taken care of. A Couple things to think about when you're running your disc, whether you're running a pull behind disc or a three point disc, depth control is really important. So make sure that when you're running your disc, you don't want that disc much more than about an inch or so in the ground. So just make sure that you're aware of your depth control, either with your three-point handle controls, if you've got a three-point disc, or your hydraulic controls. Um, if you've got a pull-behind disc, put your seed in the ground, and you're gonna have yourself a corn and bean plot that you'll be proud of. So there you have it. We have a finished corn and bean food plot behind us that we did all with a broadcast spreader and a disc. The moral of the story here is don't ever be embarrassed by your equipment. There's a lot of equipment in the marketplace today, everywhere from no-till drills to discs to drags. And the takeaway is it all works. So don't be afraid to put your disc in the ground, get yourself some corn seed and some fertilizer, and get yourself a corn food plot planted whenever it's ready for you.